what you need. My template on borderless printed paper, I'm going to use cardboard to make these VR goggles. Pen and ruler to make an impression, black masking tape for attaching stuff, and a box cutter to cut it all out. Most important, you need the lenses, which you remove from the front of the cardboard binoculars you bought. If I hold it the right focal length, I'll see my stereo pair of images merge into one. This distance should be about 8 centimeters. Now to save cardboard, I'm going to trim these templates before I stick them onto the cardboard. Now what I'm doing here is using my pen to punch little holes and then push down firmly, very firmly, to make an impression. A ruler can help with this part. In the next step, I'm going to completely cover one side with black tape because I want the inside of the glasses to be black. Next, we cut out the various pieces by carefully going around all the impressions, like this one. Use your box cutters carefully, not just your fingers, but cut on a surface you don't care about damaging or can't damage. Carpet like this works perfectly if you've got it. Uh, notice for the really curved bits, I'm using little jabbing cuts to get the right shape. The eyes are especially tricky. Now hopefully you won't forget which piece is which. Uh, these side pieces here, I don't fully cut out this region here, that's for the elastic headband. With all the pieces cut now, it's time for assembly. First, attach the sides to the top and bottom, and finish up the basic frame with the black on the inside. Hopefully this will fit snugly over your face. If not, consider adjusting my template to your face. Uh, for example, you might have a bigger nose than me. If so, my deepest sympathies. Around the uh, face part, you may want to add some foam for comfort. In my case here, I'm just using tape to make a pretty black border. Next is the front piece. Sticky tape the lenses on the inside, the black part. I like to put the convex part of the lens facing forward towards your eyes. Either way seems to work. Just make sure it stays there. Uh, now we are going to insert this into the front just in front of where your nose is and secure it with more tape. So the phone itself is going to slide into the back of the device uh, touching the middle piece. So if not already, cut out the little piece at the top where the phone slides down uh, and here I keep it attached as a flap. Next piece to attach is this middle piece which we want all black. Uh, it's pretty fiddly. Make sure it's put in exactly the right place where the phone rests snugly against it and secure it tightly. If you're worried your phone will slide from side to side, now's the time to add my so-called diagonal pieces. Finally, we are going to add the back. Now, I've actually lost 30 seconds of video here, but hopefully you will get the gist. We are now at the stage where you can insert the phone in, and we are almost done. So test it out, it should work perfectly. So finally, I'm going to take elastic from some cheap safety goggles I bought online. I push the straps into these little slots. And I'm going to fix it up on each side with some uh, masking tape, and I'm going to test out and see if it works. And lo and behold, it works. So there you have it. It took me 50 minutes to assemble, but hey, it was fun. And I finish up with my own 3D virtual reality glasses for under $10. Uh, here is the website you need with my printable templates and extra tips. Thank you for watching.